Hi guys, Holly from Vitmill with Kev. What? You want me to say something? <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, not doing the same typical review. Hmm. Uh, purely one because it's edited because I've got other people doing stuff. The parts of me and Kev will be unedited apart from whatever we put up on screen. Um, so I don't think we're going to like, oh, have two takes or anything like that. That bit will be uncut and edited. But I am going to do cuts in between to show you because we've got other friend, Vitnal friends that uh, have also tried the flavours. Sure, we'll let you know again. You've probably seen the boring vape company knocking about. They're doing a lot of influencer schemes at minute. So we've got all our Instagram and probably YouTube as well. They sent me all five flavours. They've sent me some hats and some vape bands and all that other merch you'd expect. And this cool box it comes in about nowish. Uh, there should be a picture on screen of all the merch that I received, which I posted to Instagram. Come back to me. Hello. Um, so we're going to try them in order. And we're also going to do something different. We're also going to read out the description of the profile first. I should point out when I cut through to the other guys that reviewed it, I didn't let them know what the flavour profile were first. So people like Simon, I kind of told you what he could taste and what he thought it were before actually knowing what the profile were. So let's crack on. This is Jackfoot. Yeah, 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 see that? Uh, Jackfoot is emanating from the depths of the West Indian rainforest. The jackfruit, when ripe, has it all. A balance of sharp and sour tones, bound with a light fluffy texture, providing the ultimate all day vape. The pro profile is candy, other fruit, other sweets, mint. <laughs> Lots of others there. Pick up my profile sheet. Sure. <clears throat> uh, just point out as well, no one else in the video tested before we tried, and neither of me or Kev. We haven't even smelled them yet. No. I like it. So the problem, the what the boring vape company does is make their own flavours. A lot of brands out there make flavours from concentrate, just like you might do. Uh, anyone can do that, there's websites designated to uh, recipes. The Boring Vape Company doesn't do that, they make their own, their own flavours from scratch. So that's interesting. They also aim at the more mature taste buds uh, and the promised prominence. In that I can definitely taste a bit of candy. Mm. It's not horrible, it's nice. Yeah, I don't know what it tastes as much of, apart from sweets. It is a fruity sweet in it. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. Let's kick over to Simon, Steve, and Joe in no particular order. Okay, yeah, I'm trying the uh, Boring Vape Company Jackfruit. It's a bit of a weird flavour. It has got a fruit thing, but it's also got a slight mentally bit going on and a slight, um, I don't know, almost like a synthetic kind of plasticky flavour to it. So I'm not massively enjoying this one at the minute. Yeah, I can't really see that much positive about it, sorry. Uh, probably next week. Oh, quite mind we uh, bit of mint in that, isn't it? Tastes like. Yeah, that was quite nice. <laughs> so feel free to say what you think it tastes like as well. You, I'll tell you what it's supposed to be after. Right. It's running. Yeah, it's whenever you whenever you're ready. Yeah. Um, it just actually that just tastes. A bit mentally. The next one is Zabu Tikabu. I I don't know. That's the good thing about these flavours is they also come with pronunciations. 
the pronunciations are also on the bottle. Kev's already dripped on. Uh, straight out of Sao Paulo, this feisty Brazilian is right down deep. Dark and devious, Jabe Bibuku is a great plight, no other. Uh, guaranteed to shake up your senses in a carnival of flavours. Flavour profile is berries, adult beverage, spices and fruit. So Kev should like this because he's a uh, fan of bear, uh, grape, aren't you? No, a fan of the beer, but... <laughs> Oh. Not much grape in that. No, I can taste berries in like a hint of grape. It tastes spices kind of thing. See, I can't. And that is why it's important to have more than one person trying liquids. Kev said you can taste spices. I can't taste spices. I can just taste the berry grapey type. Ting. But actually... On the flavour profile, it doesn't say anything about grip, although the description does. I've just re really mine, so mine's probably stronger flavour. Let's crack over to Simon, Steve, and Joe, in no particular order. Okay, this is the second one. The Zabu blah 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 blah. That's actually got a lot more flavour on it. It's got some really interesting flavours to it. It's getting like a, almost like an energy drink in the background with uh, like heavy blackberries. It's a much more intense flavour than the last one. Yeah, I'd go for that. That's, uh, that's decent, that is. Yeah, and no strange aftertaste as well. I like that. Cool. Okay, second flavour. I might even try and pronounce that. No, I don't really like that one. That second one. Yeah, is it prominent? Huh? Is it prominent? No, I just don't, don't really rate the flavour. Yeah, but is it prominent flavour? Yeah, yeah. Cherimuo, discovered by Inica people of the Peruvian mountains, mountain, mount, mountainous jungle. This is a intense flavour. Intense fruit is an intoxicating combination of tropical flavours, tightening in on a crisp sweet apple, coupled with a smooth, luxurious custard. Luxurious custard. Profile: tropical fruit, candy, other sweets, and dessert. So, let's give it a go. Are you all kidding? Cheers. What's it supposed to be? A mixture of everything. Yeah, again, I'm getting like a fruity. Fruity sweet. Yeah, was it supposed to have apple in it? Yeah, can't be. Mind you, I'll get a tinge of apple, I suppose. Like I said, it's just a fruity sweet. I'm not really getting anything of any particular flavour. Um, let's go over to Steve, Joe, and Simon. In no particular order. I'll try and pronounce this then. Cherimia. Cherimoya. Cherimoya is next. Um, Again, this one's decent. It's got a very nice, uh, a big amount of flavour on it. Again, it's kind of a bit sweeter than the last ones. Sweet, sugary, almost sugary, but then with a nice hint of fruit as well. It's more kind of raspberry, raspberry-like, so I don't know what it's supposed to 
what the flavour profile is supposed to be, but yeah, I, I do like that as well, yeah, that's it. That's decent, man. I do like that. Okay, third one, Sh Sherry Boyer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Is it wrong? Yeah. It's just uh, not really appealing to me. <laughs> Same again, Richard. Next is Sapadilla, emerging from the Central American mangroves. Sapadilla? Sapadilla. Has a perfect. Oh, yeah, that flavour. Has a perfect blend of sweet, spice, and savoury. This fruit is prided on caramel sweetness and bitter pear. Nestled among spicy undertones, this flavour will challenge your taste buds. Granted to be like nothing you've ate before. Flavour profiles. Other fruit, adult beverages, spices, tobacco. Oh dear God. That's got no fruit in. <laughs> smell it. <laughs> I don't want to smell it, I don't. But it goes out saying, now the meal kev are tobacco fans. I reckon kev. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. <laughs> uh, think <laughs> of um, curry powder smell. Indian shop. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I can imagine some people are. I'm not. Kev's not. No. Let's see if Simon, Joe, or Steve are. Let's go. Sapadilla. It's probably wrong. weird. That's got a really, really weird flavour to it. It's fruit, but it's also got like a kind of a dirty, kind of earthy, earthy, yeah. I don't know if it's tobacco-y kind of. Yeah, not for me. However, if I was just giving up smoking, I'd probably go for that because it has got that like cigarette-y kind of yeah. thing to it, so... Yeah. Not for me, but not bad. Sapo Dilia. <laughs> They're out with flavours, aren't they? Names. Look, I'd say it's boring. I won't worry tell anyone. <laughs> I don't know why, but that one's like really reminded me of super noodles or something. <laughs> like uh, barbecue flavour. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Mm. Not a fan of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Purple Mangosteen, the India's royal of the uh, Suda Islands, has long been proclaimed as the queen of fruits. Prepare for sour tones of mango accomplished by fruit, peach, cream aftertaste. This royal fruit serves up a smile each and every time. Profile citrus topical, topical, citrus tropical other fruits and other beverages. I'm not liking how all the profiles that Kev mentioned was before we started. All the profiles seem to say other. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm not a massive <laughs> fan of the variation. No, I'll tell you what's in it. I hope I can't taste uh, supper dinner. No, you can't. <coughs> Just a bit of a fruity flavour, really. Yeah, it's nice. I like that. Citrus, topical, other fruit, and other berries. Hey, beverages. Oh, that's exactly what it tastes like. Hmm. 
I'm getting a bit of a purple Starburst type flavour. That's not bad. I like it. Um, to round off and summarise before we go over to Steve and everyone. Now we'll go to them and then we'll come back and summarise. Here's Steve, Simon and Joe in no particular order. Order. Yep, yeah, family favourite. This one definitely. Very fruity. Uh, mango, papaya y kind of flavour profile to it. Slightly sweet, but not overpowering sweet. Yep. Yeah. I'll be quite happy to have that all day. Nice one. Purple mango steam. Well, that one's quite nice. That mango steam. I like that one. Yeah, I'd say uh, that one's probably my favourite. The jackfruit. Cheers, dude! Definitely, that one. That was your favourite? Yeah. Are they all prominent? Can you tell, can I tell what the old taste like? Are they all taste well? Yeah, the old, yeah. They've got a similar, all got a similar sort of taste. But that one's the more prominent one. Mm -hmm. The better tasting. Sweet. So to summarise, me and Kev have just said the, well Kev that said it, the Sir Mopia, or whatever it's called, and the jackfruit, the turquoise blue one and the yellow one, both taste very similar. Uh, I think they're both alright. I think the Z Zubu, the grey one, I think that's alright. I think the purple one's quite nice. Not a massive fan of the red one, but I'm not a tobacco or spice type of person. What do you think, Kev? What do you like? What do you dislike? I like the jackfruit best. The grey one. Oh, the yellow, yellow one. one. Tobacco one was just disgusting. I will say between uh, Steve, Simon and Joe, the yellow one and the purple one are the most liked flavours. Uh, for, for everyone else who's done the reviews, I've let them have whichever bottle they want. Uh, instead of the I wrote the name on the sheet so that no one else can claim it. The first one was to go Simon because he was the first reviewer. He got that. Joe came in and wanted that but couldn't have it because it had gone. Then Steve came in and wanted that but it had gone. Joe claimed that and then Steve claimed... Let me get my sheet. And then Steve claimed that one. So as you can see, them three are the best... Sorry, them three are the best flavours in regards to our reviewers, but none of our reviewers are particularly tobacco in this type flavour, like vapours. Um, so if you are a tobacco in this type flavour, then not the purple mango, I've mixed them up. Yeah, really. Then the red one is probably more for you. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, the most important <laughs> thing you can ever do is stay class!